ladies and the gentlemen and welcome back to the channel i am a star creator star cool gaming and we are back with another marvel future fight video guess guys we are star creator so we do have crystal coupon giveaway on the channel to participate in the crystal coupon giveaway guys you can either join us every monday and wednesday uh on the youtube 7 p.m pacific time for our live stream or you can join on our discord server link is in the description down below and just participate in our discord the giveaway guys which is going to be in the category marvel to fight under the channel giveaway it's really that simple follow the instruction there and well you're going to be participating into the giveaway by the way guys don't forget that you can only win one coupon per season so if you win the giveaway and you already won one well uh you will not receive any price so just want to make that clear guys so guys today uh it is time to advance luna snow to tier 3 hashtag free to play version guys so no uniform we did it her we did her with the mega tier 2 ticket and then a uh manually advance her to tier 3 so this is the way guys this is the way so let's jump here let's pick her and uh let's advance her to tier 3 guys with uh, the old tier 3 animation which is actually going to be pretty awesome i like to think that i like to think a lot of things but anyway let's press the button here guys and let's experience our second tier 3 on the channel oh she is singing to us guys that's actually not bad animation to be honest for a base kit that's actually a pretty solid animation. Here we got an extra 300,000 gold, spend 2.5 million gold and get 300,000 gold back. I always thought that was uh, definitely stupid. So now we got another agent level here. So let's get some more gold, increase gold acquisition here down there. So we are now agent level 50. So slowly getting up there, guys. So uh, obviously I'm going to be showcasing uh, Luna Snow tier 3 in uh, some gameplay. I'm going to share the build we have on there but first guys i want to share the plan we actually have for the future in uh you know our next tier 3 and tier 2.5 so uh the next tier 2 we're actually going to do manually until we receive the potential ticket from um the uh anniversary uh celebration preparation event whatever it's called uh, we're actually going to be doing uh Shannon Rogers to tier 3 manually and then the uh, tier 3 we actually gonna be selecting from the tier 3 selector on the anniversary guess it's actually gonna be Ghost Rider we're gonna be getting a uniform uh, after the anniversary the next uniform the first uniform we're gonna get a first uniform cell we're gonna get we're gonna be getting three uniform guess we're gonna be getting Ghost Rider's uniform we're gonna be getting Sharon Rogers uniform and Luna Snow uniform we're gonna be getting those three uniforms and then after that guys the work we're going to be starting after we get uh shannon rogers to tier 3 we're going to start working on century epic quest and we're going to buy the moonstone epic quest uh deluxe packs to get her to tier 2.5 and get uh maxed out um uh, century as fast as possible and this is the project guys for the channel so in about three months or so our roster should include tier 3 uh, Star Lord, Sharon Rogers, Luna Snow, uh, Ghost Rider, and Sentry, and Tier 2.5 Awakening characters. We shall have uh, um, number one Moonstone, and we shall have the mats to get a second one, which uh, I haven't decided who is going to be yet. Probably a character that is good in PvP. Uh, so we can actually, you know, improve our PvP performances. But a character that does not require a uniform, because I am only getting three uniform before a Black Friday. So this is the plan for the channel, guys. This is the plan for the free-to-play account. This is the plan for the next three months. Uh, let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think of this plan. Do you think is a good move? Or you think I should be doing something different? Let me know in the comment section, guys, as always. So next, guys, we're going to be taking a quick look at the build on my Luna Snow Soul Tier 3. Number two, guys, uh, we have a terrible build on there, by the way, guys. So first thing, we don't have max ignore defense. We do have max cooldown, though. Uh, 4.46% extra. Uh, ignore defense is going to come along the way. Uh, it's just because I haven't done my... Uh, my stuff here and let's take a look here yeah we don't really want to lose 
that much cooldown so uh, and when we get the uniform we're going to be able to get it to mythical right away uh, so I'm not actually really worried about the ignore defense because um, we might get it from the uniform don't know which uniform bonus probably not gonna get it but at that point we're gonna start focusing in the proper uh, direction we use yuru and all that stuff at that point so uh, i'm not really uh worried at this point in the game about ignore defense because uh it's really early in the game and everything we can play her in she can wreck it without having uh <laughs> that ignore defense uh maxed out guys if we actually take a look at the easel set here you saw overdrive stage uh, set bonus five and effects and nothing crazy uh decent obelisk 37.5 percent cold damage 180 percent damage proc uh definitely not a bad uh not a bad uh obelisk decent for an obelisk obviously uh when we get our first ctp of rage she is getting it definitely uh ctp of energy is gonna go to sharon rogers we get ctp of energy and uh ctp of judgment will go to uh, i have no idea maybe luna or a uh, better rebuild at least that is the plan at least we have all the skills maxed out guys so uh, we're gonna be able to uh, see her going with that gear 25 so it's actually not a bad build guys we're just missing euro pretty much which uh, we're not gonna be doing today uh, because I don't want to lose too much time well we could definitely and we think technically we could actually do it uh, do we have enough more defense uh, yeah right yeah she'll be fine to do uh all the ignore defense we actually need here so let's do that real fast and then uh, let's enjoy her with maxing or defense this is literally the only euro we're gonna get up by the way guys i don't think we need to do anything else so we have eight four stars um all we gotta do is get two slots on each gear and we're gonna be able to actually put them down. So that's gonna be very easy here. So one, two, and let's see if that give us 42.5, something like that, uh, 42.9. So I actually only need seven of them. Hmm. I guess that's not so bad. So we just need two slots here. There we go, easy peasy. Let's go back to purple. Let's equip these two there. And uh, Let's uh, amplify this one. Three of them. Okay. Do I have a blessing? Uh, we're going to save that for Sharon Azure's actually for Noel. Uh, well, for the wall boss legend in the future when we actually get up there. Here we go. That might actually be enough. Let's go take a quick look here. And no, we're going to need a couple more. So, uh, yeah, we're going to have her at max kill cooldown, maxing your defense. So that's going to be doing the job here okay a couple pop here let's do this guys so uh well at least the importance that are gonna be maxed out here well i like to think it's gonna be pretty borderline yeah yeah 0.04 percent extra uh, so that is actually pretty great we could definitely uh change for example we could change the uh the fourth gear on the uh the bonus stats on the fourth gear here for critical uh damage and actually drop uh you know a few more uh skill cooldown hero here, here but we have to roll four slot on each gear so we're not going to be doing that now when we start optimizing her a little bit we will definitely uh do that obviously so next guys uh we're going to do two different gameplay on there we're going to showcase her really fast in the wall boss ultimate we don't have much to show her guys we have stage 19 on cole and stage nine on the bunny so uh definitely not much to showcase her there but we're still going to be showcasing her without strikers in this content so let's find a team here uh <clears throat> there we go we're just gonna replace uh, that for luna and we're not even gonna be putting uh you know any support characters or strikers here uh actually we're just gonna select number two here and let's go in here let's start training it she'll technically be very easy that's here tree she'll mostly just one shot the bastard uh so that should actually be quite easy i don't know never actually play her at tier three without uniform i know that's kind of weird but uh, i never did she has her cc from the fourth skill so uh cool she'll not be bothering us too much here honestly i was expecting more damage than that here Maybe we're gonna need some support here with the build do we currently have on there. I don't know, we got a tier 3 here. 
Oh, the damage is actually not that bad. But yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it's not the greatest damage here. Uh, well, we don't have any defense down, so that definitely matter, and I do believe that uh, Cole had extra uh, elemental resistance, if I'm not mistaken, so it's technically not optimal here. Okay, okay. I thought she was going to be able to do it anyway, uh, pretty easy, so I guess if we actually had... Uh, you know, some support and some well leadership at least and some support she will be able to do it pretty easy but um we want to do without support so we're gonna jump to uh, a body mod here and uh yeah that team is fine we don't need a lead here and we're gonna select uh, no strikers here and jump in there this one should actually be quite easy there's no uh, extra elemental resistance so that's gonna be go much faster uh but obviously uh we can do cool and really easy with uh, a real team with Luna still definitely. And the next thing we're going to be testing after that guys, not just testing, but uh, not really testing, but showcasing is that we are going to be jumping in squad battle and see uh, how much we can actually score with her now that she is actually tier 3. So you can see here, she is doing so much better. She's about to uh, pop that, yeah, that, that face. So I'm trying to run out of that face and now you see when we get the uniform and get it to mythical that is going to give us a good give her such a huge buff that's going to be pretty awesome now we're not going to use the tier 3 yet we're going to wait for the next phase and so we're just going to bring this guy to uh, as low as possible we're not really paying attention to whatever we're doing either we're just smashing some button until we reach our next phase and here we go we shall be reaching the next phase here we're going to see first what he does as first ability so we don't get screw exactly why if we hit the skill here we will be dead by now and then we're just gonna go with that tier 3 skill we're just gonna wreck it and there we go so see huge difference against a bunny because it takes more damage from elemental characters and cool takes less damage from elemental characters so that kind of messed up the test here a little bit without uh, <laughs> a somewhat of a team so next guy's going to be jumping in the squad the battle i haven't tried her in squad battle yet guys uh without uniform so that's actually going to be going to be quite and interesting and i'm going to get going on my squad battle god damn so here uh what we're going to use is the uh ultimate team here uh, at least for her this is the thing we're going to be using no i do not have a uh white fox yes gas yet uh something in the future maybe to work on but uh no i don't want to spend uh crystal on her yet maybe when i have a mega tier 2 and a mega uh rank up ticket for her i might do it but not at the moment so i kind of want to see the difference with uh luna uh with and without uniform because i tested her uh, a million times with uniform on my own account but I never tested her uh, without uniform, so I kind of kind of interested to see how well she does uh, for the first two phase without uniform. Obviously, we don't have a rage compared to a rage that we have on the other count, so uh, that's going to be a huge difference on what we can do. But that tier three is still the same; still should be killing everything that's trying to land here, so that should actually give us uh, a little advantage here. There we go, we're actually able to use that 5th skill, and 5th skill animation is a lot longer too. And boom here, and then there we go. So now, but the score is actually pretty solid for the first phase, definitely. Uh, second phase should actually be uh, putting us over 500,000 points. Uh, if I am not mistaken here, uh, we're gonna pop that tier 3 skill. We're gonna hit that 200,000 points quite easy here. already up to 200,000 points so even without uniform she is definitely kicking ass definitely kicking ass we're gonna be able to launch the next phase also with a tier tree that's gonna be awesome I thought I killed everything already oh whatever there we go 227,000 points actually a pretty solid start here as soon as the uh, peer come for me we're gonna be hitting that tier 3 skill here there we go and we are almost up to uh, 300 point 300 thousand point already so uh, definitely kicking butt here already 
The only bad part with that tier 3 when it's rolling is that it's hard to uh, get her points for your next tier 3 because uh, mobs are just dying too fast for you. But you can see already over 300,000 points are already guaranteed to, to reach the next phase. Too easy. Too easy, man. Okay, let's kill these guys. Let's get those orbs real fast here. A couple more here. Yeah, let's hit that tier 3. And let's get that 400,000 points real fast here. I'm gonna try to get her some point. We want the tier 3 to be available for um, the last round, obviously. And you can see here, we are definitely gonna be uh, getting very close to 500,000 points or get very past 500,000 points, I guess. We could risk it here and pop the tier 3 again, but I do not want to do that because when we only have um, 10 seconds left, I'm going to be switching to Nick Fury so we can start the last phase with that, uh, that fifth skill and maybe give us a little advantage there. So here we're going to move at the top. We're going to wait for uh, the bastard to pop. Then we pop that fifth skill and then we're going to go with the Luna tier 3 right away try to uh, kind of maximize the damage we're gonna get here so obviously it's not as good at this as if we had the other uniform but it's still some decent damage here give me my orbs bro one more orbs to go here and then we can enter the tier 3 phase ends again we should definitely be able to reach that uh, that 1 million point for play it right we're gonna try to sink that tier 3 at some point uh, not that tier 3 but that third skill at some point with uh, that rock eventually if we want to maximize what we do here we're gonna do an extra tier 3 just for extra damage kill uh, more adds along the way as you can see, the ads is just going to automatically die here, which is actually going to give us a little advantage. So move away from the sword here as much as possible. And there we go. So now we can actually restart the dance. We have all the ores we need. Now we're going to do is try to sink that prop on that third skill as much as possible. Which I believe we just did pretty good. Let's try to keep it on. Oh yeah, we are keeping it on. So this is going much better now. Still on, so it's actually pretty decent. Oh boy, we just messed that cross up. Okay, so now we're going to calculate 7 seconds. So let's pop that. That was a good proc, but that was not that great though without the uniform here. Well, we also have pretty terrible cards, so that is definitely not helping. But uh, a more million damage uh, after what? Um, 69 days we're playing? Uh, I guess we're doing pretty good here. That was a pretty good score, bumping us out here. So obviously, I did not play that perfectly. I could have played that much, much, much better. But. Uh, I'm pretty happy with uh, being able to reach a million score there. That is a nice improvement for uh, for me, definitely. So, guys, finally, we advanced Luna Snow to Tier 3. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, again, guys, let me know what you think of the plan I share at the start of the video on what I'm planning to do with the account in the next three months. Let me know, guys, in the comment section. Also, guys, don't forget, uh, Crystal Coupon Giveaway every Monday and Wednesday, 7 p.m. Pacific Time on live stream or uh, every week on the discord server link is in the description down below so guys uh, thank you for watching you all have a great rest of the weekend i'll see you guys again in the next video thank you